Hey, and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben, and this is my review for Angel of Darkness, The Aliens Nest Season 2. Now running her own detective agency, Sarah joins John and Chrysler in an effort to stop an execution and is tasked with finding a kidnapped baby. I wasn't a massive fan of the first season, mostly because of the pacing, not because of the acting. I thought the acting was phenomenal. I loved all the main protagonists. I loved the trio and the relationships that we formed there. It was very dark and very interesting, um, but the, the pacing of it, it really dragged out some of those episodes for me however season two it's a complete story and that's what i like about the alienist or some series like this when they do complete story seasons you kind of complete a story don't they don't leave you hanging um, and you can come back to a series going okay this is going to be great because i'm going to figure out well i'm going to know a whole story and they're not going to leave me hanging and that's the same for this this is also only eight episodes um, in the season as opposed to the 10. So I feel like the pacing here, because they know they only had eight episodes this time, they didn't drag any bit of the story out. They didn't um, kind of allude to stuff longer than it should be. This time around, the pacing feels much more frenetic. And so you have a lot of stuff happening along the way. So it gets tense and it gets gory. And oh my gosh, they do not skimp on the gore when they're going for that gore. We have a killer uh, storyline. Uh, we, we have a kidnapping. We have Dakota Fanning, who I feel like steals the show most of the time in this. Although there are, I would say, two female protagonists in this, um, without doing spoilers, and both of them are phenomenal. Both of them are kind of juxtapositions of each other, but they have a similar, I guess, storyline or they've, they encounter similar things in their life and so they can relate to each other in a really bizarre, crazy world. I do love the way um, we're still getting the deductive detectiveness because she has her own agency this time around. We see her taking a bit more, um, I guess, more of the reins uh, in these investigations. And I really appreciated the way they show that. But one of the outstanding things of this series, including the first season, is the production value of of everything from the sets to the costume design to the score and uh, the cinematic feel of the series. The Alienist has always had a tone and feeling of grand scale, but also really developing uh, characters, really developing backstories. And we get even more of that in this season where the characters are so well developed that by the time you hit you hit that last episode which is a doozy one of my all-time favorite last episode uh, episodes for a season because they have been drawing on everything that's been going on and then that whole episode the last one is kind of like a a, a climax that you want to to have so many seasons don't know how to finish stories well i feel like in this one we get all of that done really well and could lead to another one but they don't like leave us on a massive cliffhanger they're just saying hey here's a world that we could have uh, for another story uh, which i really appreciated the last episode is fantastic um it, it's heartbreaking in the best ways the characters have come such a long journey the acting has uh, has you gripped uh, the story will have you leaning forward on your seat because uh, you are rooting for the characters and you're rooting for the bad guys sometimes as well because you feel for them. So the bad guys are, well, bad ladies and guys are developed in such a way that they have enough backstory for you to care about them. They're not just your one dimensional characters. They have multifaceted faceted layers. And I really appreciate that. We still get the deductive uh, deducing um, the mental uh, training going on with a, a couple of our characters here where they're they're using their wits to figure out things which I appreciate. It's very Sherlock in places but more on the psychiatry level of techniques they use to get information out of people that they need and you see that coming to fruition. The way Dakota uh, showcases that is great. But you also have this undercurrent storyline of this almost, I guess it's a love triangle or a few triangles of people that are involved in their lives and their lives get ridiculously messy as you'd expect in a storyline like this. But I do feel like this is the stronger uh, of the seasons. This is just, just my opinion. I know lots of people love the first season. For me, it dragged out a bit and I do feel like the pacing was slower. But this time around, I feel like they found a really nice timing to everything. Everything has a really good pace. There's like a beat to each episode. So they, you know, they draw you into what's going to happen in that episode. They do a recap in the episode. They do, uh, this is what's uh, going to happen to further the arc. This is what's going to happen to further the characters. And then it leaves you at the end of it, each episode wanting to watch more which is not what I found from the first season. This time around, I, I was like, yeah, give me more of this. 
So all in all, I thought it was fantastic. Gonna give this an A minus. Chat to me in the comments below. Who did you think was outstanding um, in this particular season? I thought Dakota Fanning uh, was brilliant um, as per usual, but also we have some male protagonists here that are pretty damn awesome. Um, very creative series. You're guessing for the most part of things that you think are going to be revealed and then when they are but not in the way that you expect them to be, um, it's a nice surprise. So I love a series that makes you feel intelligent um, but doesn't give everything away. I think that's a lot of fun because it keeps you on that journey. You feel like a detective as you're watching um, with these teams trying to rescue the baby, trying to figure out who the killer is, trying to find, trying to figure out why they're doing what they're doing in amongst the relationships that are building and you're trying to figure out who you want to be with who. Um, very well done. Hope you enjoyed this review. Chat to me in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.